Hello! Welcome into In My Kitchen, Where's Mary? The cat's asleep, so you'll hear me speaking in a lower voice to get us started. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Happy Friday evening. Thought we'd spend a little time in my kitchen tonight, and I'm so glad that all of you who are joining us are able to join us live. If you're watching back, thank you for watching back, and I hope you like this recipe, so let me... Uh, tilt us properly. I want you to be able to see the stove and I want you to be able to see a little bit of the prep area today because I'm going to be spending a lot of time at the stove. Now, first things first, this is our standard time together now. We're going to be in my kitchen, Where's Mary, every Friday at 5 p.m. And in honor of our today's special value at QVC, I thought I'd wear one of my very favorite logo tops for our time tonight. Um, so... I know I have the number in here somewhere. Did I, I'm, I'm, I might not. Hang on, I have a device here where I can look it up. Hi Marjorie, hi Judy, hi Alana, hi. Um, hi Rachel, oh, hi Bruce, hi Maureen, hi Janet. It's so good to see all of you. Uh, let's see, let's see, wait a minute. Logo, stand by. Da, 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 da. I wanna get you the item number for this top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. It is. Hi. Hi, friends. I put a little lipstick on for y'all today. Wait, my top. My top is a 395386. A three nine five three eight six yay okay the jeans because i've been getting questions on those too lately because i wear them all the time cut whoops they are by cut k-u-t they're boyfriend jeans they are searching Did you think that it froze for a second? All right, while it's spooling. Hi, Judy. Um, thank you. Oh, Ilana loves my new glasses. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my prescription was way out of date. And it was one of those moments where I got a new prescription for my glasses and I felt like I could see to the moon. Yeah. I was definitely overdue. I go every year, but I don't necessarily get my glasses updated every year. So yeah, it was time. Uh, that is still searching. Not sure why it's all jammed up. We're probably super busy at QVC. However, um, they are, if you search cut boyfriend jeans, these will probably come up. Um, just so you know. But let's get into it. So it's no secret, because I've shared it with you all, that I had a little time off in April. I was off for about three weeks, and uh, turns out I had to have my gallbladder taken out. Well, what that means for me at this point, because everybody's journey is different, um, I have to cut way back on fat in my diet. So I've been looking for classic comfort food recipes that we all love and I'm trying to make them with less fat and make them maybe a little bit healthier. So I love chicken piccata. I got such a strong reaction from all of you about chicken piccata. You said, love it. Um, I love the traditional classic recipe too, but I'm so curious if I could make it lighter. Might not taste great because I've never made this recipe before, but we're going to find out. Um, Jasper is doing great. He's in his little cat tree right now. He's sleeping. He keeps shooting me little surly looks because I'm loud. But wait, check this out. This was just five minutes ago. Look how cute. Look at him. Hey, cute. Oh man. He was just watching me get ready. So sweet. All right, here's what I did already with our recipe. Chicken piccata, traditionally, 
a lot of oil, a lot of butter. You bread the chicken or you flour the chicken. You don't really bread it, but you flour the chicken. So that's kind of a lot of fat in the recipe. It's so bright and fresh that I'm trying to highlight that today when we make it as opposed to really ladening it down with butter and fat and all those things. Now, um, it's delicious that way, but I want to see if we can do it another way. Uh, so what I did to start, uh, I cooked up the chicken. I got some chicken cutlets and I, uh, got them room temperature, patted them dry. You don't need to rinse your chicken, patted it dry, salted and peppered it, and then cooked it up. So I got that part ready to go. Chicken's done. Then leave the pan because that's where the flavor is, right? So all those little brown bits, little chicken bits, those are going to add flavor to what we're cooking. So I'm going to get that warmed up like so. I also cooked up the pasta because I thought, how much fun would it be to watch pasta boil? This is great. So I already did that. Got the pasta done because I thought, why torture y'all with it? Um, however, little trick here. I'm throwing in some peas. So I thought, okay, we're going to bring the fat down. Maybe we could do a uh, double duty here and sneak in some veggies. So I tucked some veggies into it too, threw in some peas. Let's check this out. So what I did, watch me drip this all over the floor. Okay, that's good. So I cooked up the pasta. I followed the directions on the bag because I used a gluten-free um, fusilli. And in the last two minutes that the pasta was cooking, I added in three quarter cup of peas. So that way we're sneaking in a little veg there. And don't tell anybody, once we start making the pan sauce, we're also gonna throw in a little arugula, rabbit food. That's what we call it at our house. But I love putting arugula into um, pasta dishes because it really adds like a lemony, peppery uh, situation of food. All right, let's get into it. So cook the fusilli, cook the peas. Next, um, we've already got the chicken cooked, which is great. We're gonna add a quarter cup, it's all over here, quarter cup of lemon juice to the pan. Hey, dishwasher's done. Um, quarter cup of lemon juice to the pan, it's nice and warm. Tra-la. Then, then, I have the recipe most of the way written out. Um, Cause I wanna be ready when we're done to be able to share. So we're gonna take uh, lemon juice and capers. That's one of my favorite, that's one of my favorite parts of chicken piccata is the caper. Do you know what capers are? Capers, our little pickled flower buds. I know, I Googled it today because I was like, I like capers, but what are they? What are you? Uh, so, oh, they're good and briny and uh, there's a caper bush that grows in, uh, I guess, the Mediterranean region. And these are the little buds from the bush and they're just pickled. Mmm. They're salty, briny. If, if you've never had a caper and you like pickles of any sort, like dill, sweet, whatever, you're gonna like capers. Mm, okay, quit sniffing them, Mary, and cook them. So we're gonna put about two teaspoons of capers into the pan. Now, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna bring this over. What I'm doing is getting all of those little brown bits incorporated into the lemon. See what I'm saying? So we're gonna get all of that. Those little brown bits in chef training, from what I've heard, I have not been, um, but those little brown bits are where all the flavor is. 
So you want to get that nice and mixed in together. I'm using my spurtle, my silicone spurtle, because you can really get every single molecule of it when you're cooking if you're using a silicone spurtle. So good. All right, that's going. Let's see what's next. Lemon juice, capers, scraping the brown bits. Now we're gonna add fat-free ricotta. What? I know, fat-free ricotta. What is the world coming to? You can use skim ricotta. You could use whole fat ricotta if you would like to. There's no wrong way to do these. Remember, no, no wrong way to do these. This is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be explorative, exploratory, expletives. That's not it. But I'm using the non-fat. I'm draining most of the water out, which may or may not be a good decision. I don't know. Um, but it's about three quarters of a cup. Putting that in there. Put this fork over there. And we're just going to incorporate it into the lemon juice. We're going to incorporate it. I, my voice changed. That was, that was strange. All right. Lemon ricotta capers. Mmm. Yes. And, ooh, it cooks up beautifully. Okay. Boy, that worked out better than I thought. Nice. That's always a plus. All right. That's going to simmer. It's going to simmer down. Lemon juice, capers, scrape the brown bits, add ricotta. Now, guess what we're going to do? We're gonna let that, just, you know, one of my favorite words, we're gonna let that marinate in the back. It's just a made up word. I make up a lot of words for those of you that are new here. So if you need any definitions at any point, don't hesitate to ask um, because I do make up a lot of words. Uh, snickety is a, not quite a meal, not a full commitment of a snack but just a few bites of something to just get you through. A snickety. Made that up. Marinate. It could be a combination of marinate, combining ingredients, stewing, taking time to incorporate flavors all together. Uh, another one, marigonate. Ah, oh, Charlotte, that's cute. Uh, I also just wanna call out, uh, where's Kathy, where's Kathy? Uh, Kathy, I hope you are recuperating well, um, and thank you for joining us. It's good to have you with us. I loved seeing that. I recoup well in good health, my friend. Um, Gina said capers on my little salty nuggets. I love it. Uh, so let's see. It's called Mary vocabulary. Taryn says it's true. Christy says, how are you feeling, Mary? I feel really good. Uh, it, the, my first day back um, whoo, I ran out of steam fast. I felt like, whew, okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta step back into it. And it's just your way, your body's way of reminding you, hey, 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 take it easy. Uh, so I did. And, um, but thank you for asking. I'm feeling better and better and better every day, really strong. Uh, and our friend Kathy, who is watching right now, is just recovering. So sending you lots of love too. Um, all right, let's see. Ooh, look what we did. Wow. Okay. That looks pretty good so far. How cool is that? All right, let's get this put down. So we've got ricotta. We got a little lemon. We've got capers. Now, I also have, stand by, stand by. Uh, we're going to fold in about two teaspoons of lemon zest. Mmm, fresh and delicious, smells so, so good. All right, so two teaspoons of lemon zest going into the pan. Like that. Then we're gonna fold in our arugula. Most people put their stirring utensil down. I like to brandish mine as I'm walking around. <laughs> uh, arugula. So as far as the arugula is concerned, it's about a quarter cup. I know when it's all fluffy like this, it's all fresh washed and dried and it's going to uh, look like a 
a lot. But the more the, <laughs> let's try that again. <clears throat> the more arugula, the better. Ooh. Television professional, y'all. Television professional. This is what it looks like before we start folding at like that. So we're gonna tuck that all in together. And remember with a fold, just take your time. Doesn't have to be aggressive, doesn't have to be wild. Now at this point, if you wanted to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, you absolutely could, oh God, that smells good. You could add a little Parmesan cheese to melt it all together. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, but uh, I'm also, because we don't have a lot of fat there, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt at this. Nope, that's pepper. Whose kitchen is this? <laughs> Yeesh. Um, I'm gonna put a little salt in there. And maybe a little pepper. But the uh, capers are gonna give it a little saltiness too, so I didn't add a lot. And then the pepper, is really going to be uh, friendly with the lemon zest and with the arugula. Those are gonna play nicely together. So, there's our little low fat pan sauce. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit because it was bubbling a little aggressively. So check this out. La 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 la. Ooh, Denise made peach barbecue wings in the air fryer. Ooh, I bet that was good. Heaven's sake, that sounds wonderful. All right, next part's gonna be tricky. Okay, we're gonna fold in some pasta. And I think that I made too much pasta. Show me your surprised face. Not surprised at all. So let's put in some of this. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. I want y'all to see in case I throw it all over the floor. I don't want you to miss it because that's the fun part is when there's wreckage. That. This. It's a lot of fusilli. This. All right. All right. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad all together folding gently and we're folding and we're folding okay let's show you let's turn this down here so I'm just picking up the sauce along the side and folding it in because I used a gluten-free pasta and for those of you that have ever you can use regular pasta too does not have to be gluten-free but for those of you that have used gluten-free pasta, you know that once it's cooked, it's a little more fragile. So, tra -la! Now, give that a second to cook all together. Thank you, Julianne. Um, my top is by Lori Goldstein. So it is part of the logo collection at QVC. And I typed the item number in the top of the comments. So it should be there. Gosh, that looks good. We're gonna eat good tonight. Now, here's the question, and here's what I would love your vote. Should I top it with chicken, or should I slice the chicken and stir it in? What do you think? You get to vote. Should I top it with the chicken? or should I slice and mix it in? So your vote, you say slice and mix or top it. And I will, I will do whatever you vote. Um, so yeah, it's up to you. I just wanna see how this sauce is going so far. And we'll try it with the chicken too. Let's check the base. So I saw one for slice, okay. Slice the chicken. Oh, wow. 
Oh, wow. Yep. That's good. That is good. Let's get the parm out. Where's the parm? I need the parm. Oh, man, that's good. Okay. Where's the parm? Ooh, that's good. I've never seen a refrigerator before. Okay. I got a little shaved parm. A little bit of shaved. So we're going to put little flaky flakes on top of it. That sounds good, doesn't it? A little flakey flakes. Uh, you know what? We're not using that one. Nope. Let's see if we have other parm. Other parm? Are you in here? Other parm. We have any takers on the parm? There we go. Ew. That's the new parm. If that parm was a no go, this is going to be our friend. Yeah. This is the friendly new fresh parm. Um, all right. So. That's cooking. I saw a lot of slice. So I think we're gonna slice and mix, slice and stir. There's another one from Marianne. Okay. Elizabeth said, you think I should be on Saturday Night Live? Elizabeth. <laughs> you better stop it. That would be so much fun. Oh my gosh, that is, like I'm not a huge bucket list person, but wow, that would be it. That would definitely be it. All right, let's get some chicken. Let's do some slicing. Let's fling some chicken. Let's not fling the chicken. Let's, let's maybe go easy on the, on the chicken today. This is used. Goes over here. And we've got a little bit of this. I'm gonna do some of that. Some of this. Being careful. I don't ever want to horrify y'all with uh, hurting myself, so I always slow down a little bit on camera. Or are we kidding? That's not true. I'm at a full tilt all the time. <clears throat> Ahem hem. Lovely. All right. Let's get this sliced up the chicken. Get that in there. Okay. Shala. Stirring it in. Now, I know this doesn't look anything like chicken piccata. I get it. I think probably the things that it has in common with chicken piccata the most is the lemon and the capers. So, check that out. Look what we did. Hiya! All right, slice and stir, slice and stir. I will give that a little heat in a moment. First, I'm gonna get a plate. Let's check out how this is going. What I'll do is I'll get a little bit of chicken. We're gonna do a little, ooh, hello. Yes, rice flour would be great. You could absolutely do that. I really think I'm cutting all the other calories, so or the other fat, excuse me, um, so that I can put cheese on it. Is that wrong? Feels right. Okay, let's put chicken here. Little bit, just a little bit, just a whisper. When I went whisper, uh, I blew Parmesan cheese all over the counter, so keeping it real. All right, there's a little parm. Mm -hmm. La 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 la. 
fun. All right, fresh fork, fresh bite, fresh fork. We're gonna get a little bite of the chicken. Get a little arugula, little caper. Oh, there it is. Little caper, a little arugula, little lemon. I just taught you just tossed some funky cheese too, Sharon. Ooh, it's funky cheese Friday. Hashtag funky cheese Friday. Yeah, I like it. The lemon, the arugula, the arugula coming through. This is low fat. It's low fat. Salt is perfect. I would do a little more pepper. Come on. It's bright and fresh. Wait. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's real good. The ricotta, the ricotta just acts like it owns the joint. Like the ricotta's like, oh, welcome in. This is my house. Have a seat. No thanks. I'm gonna take a lap. Mm. Okay. Okay. This is a really nice, light. <coughs> <coughs> Haven't eaten on camera in a while. I'm a little rusty. <coughs> there we go. Heaven's sake. <coughs> um, really nice, light spring and summer dish. Uh, not heavy at all. The, the, the first flavor note that you get is the lemon. The next one that you get is uh, the, the salt and pepper from the chicken. Then you get the arugula. Um, really, really good. Not heavy, very low in fat. Uh, delicious. I feel like I could even add something else. What, um... What herb goes really well with lemon? I want to read what you think below. Come and come and, oh, Debbie, sending you love, sweet lady. Thank you, my friend. Uh, the arugula and the lemon and the pepper, slamming. Slamming. Um, really good. And it's just, it's light. It doesn't feel like you're, uh, you're eating a heavy pasta dish. So, yeah, good one. Good one, good one, good one. Mmm, garlic. It'll be good. For sure. Dill's good too. The two Marys. Time. Thank you, Cheryl. Mmm. So good. Look. Clean plate club. Mmm. So good. Okay. Okay. That's an excellent one. Absolutely excellent. Uh, parsley and basil, thank you. Time. A lot of time. Okay. 
I'll give time a try next time. Excuse me. Sometimes when I eat, my nose runs. <laughs> does that happen to anybody else? Is that just another weird thing that I do or does that happen to everybody else? Please let me know. Sage. Ooh. I used a little sage olive oil to cook the chicken. That was nice. Dill would be good. Um, yeah. A lot of fresh lemon there. Um, I wanted to show you something. I, I don't have a lot of unboxings this week, uh, but I have two things that I wanted to show you. Um, gosh, that's good. And I, I even started my next thought before I was even done with the food in my mouth. So that's, that's extra. Um, hold on, turn this this way. So for those of you that have been asking, uh, the Happy Dance wine is going to be in In the Kitchen with David on Sunday. So there's a little sneak peek at one of the labels. Very, very cool. So I wanted you to see that got delivered just today. Uh, the other thing that I've been lucky enough to have a sample of is this right here. This is the Vinci Juicer. I've had it on In the Kitchen with Mary a couple of times but I want you to see how cool this is. So I've been using it all day today. I used it to get the lemon juice for the recipe. Um, it's the coolest thing and it makes it so crazy easy. So this is the Vinci, hold on, let me type that in. Thank you all of you for saying your nose runs too. I'm sorry, that's not a very uh, appetizing thing to share but I appreciate the relating very, very much. Um, hold on, hold on, Vinci. This is, okay, so I'm gonna type it in the comments. Vinci Juicer, <laughs> it's fun to watch me type. K51208, K51208. So, there was no assembly. I mean, it came out of the box just ready to go. And then I actually put the little um, juicer part in there. It just comes as a little separate tray. You literally just boop, put it down there in the top. I'm going to take this orange. Actually, I've got lemon seeds still in here. So hold on. Hold on. Let's take this one to the side. Ooh, don't fall over, please. Take this one to the side. Let's put this one on and then we're good. So, yeah, we're good. So I'm gonna cut this in half. This is so, I don't know, this is so much fun. I, I turned it on in the back. There's a little on off switch in the back. Here's the orange. I'm gonna put a glass. Oh, let's get fancy. I'm going to use this glass. And then that closes. Ready? That's it. Then, wanted you to see... I love that it just, I mean, nothing left in there. Love it. So here's the other side of the orange. Is it standing up? Oh, see, that's the tip. You want to push it just a little so that it's even. Bink. Did I close it? Yeah. And if you're thinking, wait a minute, it's doing all this squeezing and work and all this other stuff, again, gone. Um, and you think, wait, 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 what, why isn't it coming out? You have to put this down and then it comes out. So wait, I'm gonna, I want you to be able to see. Ta -da, ta -ta. Stop. And they've positioned the little hole in the bottom so that it's, in the exact spot so that you don't waste juice. Wow. 
why are people so smart? I know. Um, all right. I'm gonna lift that up. Ooh, lift that up. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even in frame. Hello. Welcome to my kitchen. I don't know where the cameras are. Oh! I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I just, you know, I was looking at different juicers and there are the manual ones and those are beautiful and they're fun and like they, they look pretty in the cabinet and on the countertop. This thing makes it so easy and you don't even have to touch it. It's the greatest. Uh, so, happy dance wine on Sunday. Ooh, wait. Hang on, stand by. Hang on, hang on. Look what I have. Tomorrow's program. Hey, so. Tomorrow, we're gonna have a look at the big deal. It's a surprise. Uh, California Home Goods, eight piece set of reusable silicone lids. So we've got some great lids in the show. We also, tomorrow at 1 p.m. on QVC2, we're gonna make some cocktails together or some mocktails. Mm. Then we are going to have something in the show from Jennifer Kovich called Vineyard Enriched Water. Really, really cool. So it's the best of both worlds. Gotta hydrate, but the antioxidants that are in wine are infused in this water. How cool is that? So we're gonna talk about that tomorrow. Uh, Temptations is in the show. Can't wait to show you that one. Kun Rakan is in the show. We've got the corn zipper. Uh, we've got the nifty rolling trays. We've also got the Coravin uh, three wine bottle and preservation system. For those of you that have been looking for the Coravin, when is it going to be back in stock? It was super crazy popular over uh, the Christmas season. That's gonna be in the show. We've got Ecolution in the show. I love those beeswax food storage wraps. I mean, so beyond using plastic bags, these are great. We've got, ooh, we've got La Crusade in the show, what? Um, classic oval skillet. The Cool Mint is the color that I have on my stove all the time. I love that color. We've got Temptations Doodle Do. I love doodle doo. That's in the show tomorrow. Uh, we've got Temptation stemless wine glasses. We've got Cuisinart convection toaster oven in the show. We've got Mad. Oh, do y'all need a convection oven? I had two people ask me just yesterday if we were going to have a convection oven soon, and yes, we are. Uh, so convection oven's going to be in the show. Mad Hungry is going to be in the show. We've got Lydia's Polish pottery. Ooh, and Squirrel Brand. Check this out. Squirrel Brand has three 13 ounce dark chocolate salted caramel pecans. I don't have, Andrea, I'm sorry. There's no Rick Roman in the show tomorrow. I'm sorry. We've got Corksicle in the show. I love Corksicle. Um, then we also have the Versa Compact Handheld Therma Sealer. And I will be wearing the Hunter McGrady Slub Knit Graphic T-shirt. I love that. It's even got my wardrobe in the cards. How sweet is that? Um, so, just wanted to say, little heads up on the show. That's what's coming. Um, so, please join all of us tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on QVC2. I will be there. We're going to have three hours of In the Kitchen with Mary. This was in my kitchen with Mary. Thank you for cooking with me. I'm gonna do some edits to the recipe and I'll post it in just a little bit um, so that you all can have it to share and bookmark and screenshot and whatever you would like to do. Um, so yeah, Rachel, those pecans have your name all over it. 
Lots of love to all of you. Continue to feel better for those of you that aren't feeling well and sending you lots and lots of love. Mwah! See you tomorrow on QVC2. Bye.